So DaVinci Resolve 18.1 recently came out and one of the cool new features that they've marked as one of their main new features is the ability to set the project resolution at a more social media friendly vertical resolution. So I'm going to show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Let's jump on in. Just before we get started guys, my name is Alex Cameron. For those of you who don't know, I'm a certified DaVinci Resolve trainer and I really enjoy helping people just like yourself get the most out of this amazing platform. It's fun, it's free, it's fast, and it has an amazing set of features to help you get the most out of your next video editing session. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about for those of you who want to deliver to social media channels and platforms where you need to have a different aspect ratio to the traditional landscape. So you need that portrait resolution of say nine by 16 ratio rather than 16 by nine. Well, DaVinci Resolve 18.1 has a new feature which just allows you to make that really easy and help you set it up and even save it out as a preset so that the next time you come in, you can just jump to your favorite social media preset. So let me show you how to do it really quickly in the project settings. So what I'm gonna do, come down here, I've just got a project open, and I'm gonna come down to project settings. And when I open project settings, when I come up to the master settings, you'll see that the timeline format currently is set to 1920, 1080 HD, which is a very traditional aspect ratio. Now, what's really cool about this is if you click open the timeline resolution, what we've got is some square aspect ratios. So square aspect ratios here for all of the various different sort of flavors that you might sort of want and obviously all the other different formats as well, but some of the most common ones up here. And you can see the square format now, so if you're producing square video, you can very easily just go, right, square video, and then save. And what you'll see is that that's now updated, and so you can see in the viewers, I've now got a square canvas to work with, which is really cool indeed. Very nice and, and easy to do. We can also use vertical ones. Now, you may be wondering, well, where are they? I can't see any of them, and I want to do a nine by 16 video. Well, let me see if I can do that. 1920 by 1080, select that, and then simply use this checkbox here to use a vertical resolution and hit save, and it's done. And then we've now got that vertical resolution to work with. So if I wanted to bring in a clip here, and this is completely ungraded. Now, the first problem we've got is that when I bring this video in, it's not looking as I want it to. We have to change the mismatch input resolution. So let's go and do that. So we take that out to begin with, come back to my project settings, come over here to image scaling, from image scaling, I'm gonna come down to the input scaling, and where it says mismatched resolution files, I'm going to change it from scale entire image to fit, and I'm gonna change it to, depending on your preference, either center crop with no resizing, or scale full frame with a crop. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hit save, and now when I bring in my clip, you can see that actually what we've got here is a clip that, if I turn on the little transform overlay, you can see if I I'll zoom out just a touch, you can see that my clip has now scaled up to fit the full frame, sort of cropping down to, to fit so it's in that resolution. So it's not scaling the image to fit and leaving the black sort of letterboxing. We've got this, this image here. And now I can make a quick transform by coming up to my inspector, transform my footage to where I need it and moving it forward a bit. There we go. And now I've got my person ready in the middle of the frame and I can now create my clip ready for social media. So really handy indeed to be able to do that. The other cool thing is that actually, let's say I had mixed timelines here and I had another timeline perhaps and I wanted to create a new timeline. And when I create this new timeline, I can use the project settings that I've already chosen, for example. So in fact, what we'll do, let's go back, we'll change this. So master settings are now gonna be uh, not using a vertical resolution, so 1920, 1080. So that's gonna sort of set the global project settings for our timeline resolution. We're gonna hit save. And obviously that's now gonna update and we can just quickly rejig that so it's now in the right position. So there we go, there's timeline number one. But let's say we wanted to do now a social media version of this particular cut. Well, what's really cool about this is if we go and find that timeline, which is just in here, if I grab that and I go duplicate timeline. So let's say I've done my cut already. Imagine I've done my edit. Just gonna duplicate the timeline. This is quite a nice new little thing. Would you like to create a copy of the render cache files that can be used by this particular timeline? Um, we can, I'm gonna do it quickly. There we go. So I'm gonna come over to that new timeline. I'm gonna open that up. So you can now see I'm in the copy. So imagine this is our, in fact, let's rename it. Let's rename it to uh, nine by 16, so that we know that we've got our nine by 16. And all I can do here is come right click, timeline, timeline settings. And then instead of using project settings, uncheck that, use vertical resolution, hit OK, everything will update. 
And because obviously I've got my mismatched image scaling to this, then I can easily just change that here and quickly just do a transform, move everything over to where I need it, and away we go, we're ready to start again. And we've now got essentially a social media cut. We could also use the smart reframe option at this point as well to do a smart reframe for us if we wanted to. So again, another way of very quickly moving from standard traditional deliverable into the nice new vertical resolution. So that's really cool indeed. And what's even more interesting is that we can come across and let's say our master setting, let's say we wanted to use the vertical resolution and we did a lot of editing in that way. So we can set it up like so. And actually what we can now do is come across to this little ellipsis or the three dots at the top. And then we can also save current settings as a preset. We can also set the current settings as our default preset. So not only can we save it as a preset, we can also ensure that it is our default preset every time we open DaVinci Resolve. How cool is that? Okay, so there you go. I think you're really gonna enjoy being able to do that very quickly now within the project settings and equally within timeline settings, just quickly adjust and adapt your timeline to suit the needs of your deliverables. So whether that be going out to a more traditional format like maybe YouTube or perhaps a different format where you need that nine by 16 or vertical aspect ratio, you're gonna be able to go and do that very simply now in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. So thank you very much indeed for watching the video. As I said, really appreciate you coming and checking out the video. Do hit the thumbs up button to just let me know that you enjoyed the video. Equally, if you have any questions or comments or maybe other things that you'd like to see in 18.1, then please let me know just in the comments down below and I'll do my very best indeed to help you. Also, if you want to know a little bit more about me or anything I can do in order to help you learn DaVinci Resolve, that's all linked in the description down below as well. But those of you who have subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you very much indeed. And there's also still time for those of you who haven't to hit that subscription button and get notified about the next video we release. So that's it. I'll leave you to your day. Thank you so much indeed. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.